This is a hydraulic ram pump and it works because of a difference in height between the water source and the pump. It uses a well-known phenomenon, although not readily recognized, it's called water ham. If you have ever thrown your faucet closed really quick and you have felt or heard the pipes bang, that's a water hammer. And that's the power that's going to drive this pump to pump water 35 feet up this hill. It all starts here, five feet above the pump, at the intake. The intake is basically just a capped two inch PVC pipe with a lot of holes drilled in it and some window screen around it to keep, help keep the large debris out. The pipe is submerged in the water, so the water just enters in through all the drilled holes and flows down the two inch pipe to a settling bucket. So here we are at the settling bucket and this is where any of the dirt or silt that happened to get through our screen back at the intake now has a chance to settle out instead of getting sent down into the ram pump where it could possibly clog the pump. It's a little rough out here because I had a few trees come down recently. Thank God everything held together. We had a heck of a windstorm, but we're good. All right, let's get back to the ram pump. Now the drive pipe is simply a half inch PVC pipe that leads from our settling bucket down to the pump itself. And the water is going to flow down the drive pipe into the pump where it's going to come out what's known as the waste valve. The waste valve is simply a brass swing valve with the flap the hanging down so that it's open when there's nothing flowing through it. But as the water flows through and picks up speed, it will force the valve shut. And this is where the water hammer takes effect. With the valve shut, the force of all the water from the bucket all the way down the drive pipe has to nowhere to go. So it's instantly converted into pressure. This pressure kicks open the inline check valve and pushes a little bit of water past it and onto the other side. Once this pressure equalizes, the check valve closes and our waste valve opens back up again, allowing water to flow through it one more time. This whole cycle just keeps repeating over and over and over again, pushing a little bit of water past the check valve every time and a little bit more water up the hill to the storage tanks. Now we're not going to get this overwhelming flow out the end output of the hose. Instead, what we get is about 1.1 cups of water per minute, which over the course of 24 hours is about 99 gallons of water pumped up the hill into the tanks. So that's enough to fill both of these tanks every single day. And I can use that water every day and it will refill by the next day. So thanks for checking out the video. Keep an eye on the channel. We're going to be doing more videos about the whole ramp pump system and about our drip irrigation system that we're going to be putting in the garden here. So if you like the video, maybe found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out and enjoy. Thank you so much. We'll catch you.